But we're here in a festival in Europe where only two of the 21 films in competition are being shot by women. Do you think that's enough in 2019? And should Venice do more to support female directors? Well, definitely, I think festivals should support female directors. But I think the cycle starts really from financing. Like, to, this is like, it's a symptom, symptom, and maybe festivals should put pressures on producing companies, but all the scripts, I go and ask for like meetings with amazing scripts that I, I don't nail it. I prepare and I do, I put my heart out there, but another man comes and gets it. And someone, because they have a better track record when it comes to, they have more experience and they built up their experiences. So it has to start really with financing. It has to it was start with studios, opening their systems to more female and diverse directors and even on like stars. And we've seen now, like a lot of women prove themselves like Brie Larson is carrying a huge movie, making a, m amazing like a box office hits. There's a lot of films like Central around women that can break box office but still the system there is a crack now it is happening and we see things changing but it is really should start from earlier stage to come to a festival like Venice or like Cannes or you have to have a film that is supported with there it's a process so I, I think and women don't have the support of the of that process from the beginning. And that is what we should really cultivate women's voices and give them chances to really be able to nail good scripts and hire, have, if you have a higher budget, you will have a, high, a better DP. You will have a better light, you have better sets, you have accessibility to a lot of things that elevates the film. And sometimes that doesn't happen with women. And I've seen it, a lot of women do a hit Sundance movie and they stay 10 years before they do their second. And then a male director makes a hit Sundance movie, and then he goes into making really like a 30 million, which is like a mid-range, mid but it is still within the studio system. And he makes that film and his career develops and moves while the women still try to manage a film in the 10, 10 million range. And it's still hard for them to put that budget together. They have to do through co-production, they have to do through a lot of things. And and I give it, I give a lot of a credit and um, applaud to women filmmakers because they went through that and they know how it hard it is for them to be able to make their movies. And it is really difficult when it comes to people believing in them. There is a crack in the system now and we should capitalize on it, capitalize on it as filmmakers and make people, yes, <laughs> give us more money and give us better scripts and consider us for bigger, way bigger movies because this is the only way can, can a film like film festival like Venice will have really superb movies that not necessarily about women, about a lot of things in the world. And, and, um, and I think women filmmakers have proved themselves as capable of directing amazing and bringing really wonderful stories, even with limited chances. So that is where we should start, is supporting women on all stages. It's not only about festival. Uh -huh.